guys. Troy from the do-it-yourself world, new off-grid project. It's raining again, a lot, so I'm working on the wood burner. Um, a lot of people are asking why I'm doing it in the house. Well, this is where I built it, and I will be taking it out to my... I was going to take it to the wood shop, but I don't want all that sawdust and dirt and filth to get on it. So it's going in the electronics lab, where it's going to live, and where I can do my, my work. Also, I wouldn't want the computer in the wood shop either. So, today I'm going to find a place for this and hook it up. Um, for now, I put my camera tripod over it with a string. Uh, when I get it in the electronics lab, I'll rework the wires and set that up better. Um, the wires are supposed to be running along the, the uh, grooves here, but they don't uh, show you that in the instructions, so I ended up putting it together and then later seeing on a video. Um, and you have to take it all apart. All apart to be able to get that in there, so forget that. So it works for now. Um, I'm experimenting with different images and ideas and again I am taking this out to the electronics lab where it'll live today so Melanie can have her table back it's quite a mess but you know I had to build this and uh, it's been raining for days and days on end with lightning so um, I also had to experiment with how to set it up and how to adjust it and how to um, get the images to show up right and where the center point is on the screen where the center point is on here and finding out what sizes on the grid here relate to sizes on the grid I printed and ah, all kinds of stuff anyway I'm experimenting here's a fail it would have been a beautiful rose but some images don't go through so it takes a lot of trial and error to figure out uh, what's going to be the best um, here's a butterfly which is a uh, so so um, I'm going to cut that out though and uh, maybe Melanie will finish wood burning around the edges. So it is what it is. Now here's one I really like and I'm going to leave the edges rough intentionally and I'm going to go out and cut this in, into uh, size and I'm going to do a bunch of these, the frogs. I really think this is neat, the frog scene. I really like it and uh, I hope you do too. I hope somebody out there will be interested in it. And I'm going to put that up for sale. We'll uh, sand the um, just the top corner edges and then varnish it. And uh, I'll do a couple, few of these for sale. So um, anyway, I'm experimenting. And I've got, wherever I put them, oh, I've got, I should have four more of these. I've got a bunch of these off-grid project uh, coasters finished. I had four somewhere. Anyway. It was that no that was a rough one well anyway I got them somewhere so um, that's what I'm doing for now while it's raining out and then I'm gonna go continue working in the wood shop and electronics lab a little bit more today uh, got some cool ideas I'm doing a shamrock and then I'm gonna go cut it out on the bandsaw I have a six foot tall bandsaw that weighs a ton that I never used. I bought it for a hundred dollars at a auction clearance one time and um, always dreamed of using it. So I'm going to cut out the outline of the shamrock and uh, see how that turns out. And then I've got some other images I'm experimenting with, little am animals and objects. So I'm having fun and uh, going to put all this on the Recycled Pallet Wood Products website for sale and also take these to craft shows and fairs and festivals in the area this season. Um, up here in Lewiston, up north, our festivals come later in the year for the most part. So um, that's what I'll be doing. And uh, see what happens. See how it goes. Um, once I get this established, I'll be able to set it and forget it. Just, just hit go, walk away, and come back in whatever, however long a time it takes and uh, have a finished object burnout so um, somebody asked me why I'm putting this on the do-it-yourself world channel well this is part of my daily work and this is not an electronics experiment so it doesn't belong in the electronics uh, channel and it's not a survival uh, project so it doesn't fit there all right guys just wanted to share what I'm doing today so, what do you think, guys? There's just some of the work I'm doing. These are just ideas I'm whipping out. 
uh, using a laser and a bandsaw all fully off the grid and this is made out of pallet wood recycled pallet wood so pretty cool stuff tell me what you think I haven't done anything outdoors today, just in the wood shop. It's a yucky, uh, it's not really raining, it's just a continuous mist. Uh, non stop mist all day. Uh, the ground is actually quite wet, and you feel the water hitting you when you walk. I just feel this constant wetness out here. So, um, I didn't pull the birds out today either. I'm just making sure they got food and water inside. Uh, it's my first time over to the garden today. Definitely not an issue with watering the garden right now. We've got flowers coming on the tomatoes. My laser is burning inside the house right now and I wanted to get out and get a break. I did not get it set up in the wor workshop like I wanted because of the constant rain. Um, we got flowers all over. I'm holding my laser goggles. We got flowers here, 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 there, there. So, um, certain types are flowering more than others. Definitely, here's some flowers, definitely getting there. The tomatoes are finally growing. Here's some flowers. So, it was a matter of water for them. Uh, the potatoes are starting to flower, so I've got to get the soil bunched up on them. Yeah, they're flowering, so I definitely have to heap up soil on them right away, right away. Uh, the chilies over here are starting to get green again, and Melanie put some tomatoes in the middle. So, oh no, that one completely died. Um, it was weird, I think it was too cold. We had 40 degree nights, and I think it was too cold for the chilies. Now they're getting darker. They're getting green. I hope they pull out of it. They're definitely looking better now. They're getting dark green again. So, and she planted these chilies in the middle here. Um, looks like, I don't know if something's been killing them. This one's missing all its leaves. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Uh, rough year for chili. There, no leaves. I'm going to have to really just keep an eye on them and see what's going on here. I love chili, and it's frustrating that nothing's growing there. Beans are doing good. Peas are doing good. The uh, vine plants are doing good. So, onions are all right. And then here's something. Let me take you around. I got a double-headed sunflower. Uh, where are we? Here. Here is something I've been trying to grow for years. This is a wild edible called purslane. It is uh, easily identifiable. It's got a waxy uh, appearance and round pinkish to purplish uh, stems and very, uh, what do they call it? It's a, um, oh, I forgot the term. Anyway, uh, we're gonna actually let this grow because this is 
one of the healthiest herbs you can get and it's full of omega-3s so really really good for you Melanie's aware of it too she's familiar with it so these grew up on their own there's one over here and there's one here and um, there's a fake purslane or not a fake but a look like I pulled it out and threw it away next time I'll show you I guess oh there's one growing up here so this must have come in the soil that we brought over so we're going to nurture that and let it grow. We did some container gardens, tomato plants in pots. She wanted to do that with the tomatoes we got for free. Um, I still have to get the broccoli and cabbages out and the onions, but it's been raining forever. Uh, this is a potted plant. It's really bushing out. That was a tiny little pot that we got um, on that, that deal we bought that time. And we've been harvesting stuff from that continuously. Um, got my flowers. I still have to figure out where to put them and then Melanie made where is everything? Here's a here's a hanging pot And here's another that she put together and then she's got Some pots over here that she put together with some of the free flowers that we got and there's another Over here. Oh, there's a bunch. There's a whole bunch. Well, she was busy the other day This one is really pretty. I love that really bright pink contrast to the uh, the uh, soil I've been just busy working on making um, coffee coasters and cutouts I just experimentally made another image here that's gonna be a cutout so I'll cut it out make it a 3d or a, what do you call it a uh, well you know what I mean like this so I'm just experimenting with various things today and then like I said I hope to get this machine out of here uh, out in my electronics lab but I just don't want to haul it all over and haul my computer out in this non-stop wet yuck so maybe tomorrow we'll see what the weather brings